Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. E. I'm back here at the shop working on our rose window color wheel project. You can see I've painted in several areas and I've actually started to experiment a little bit with using crayon to create some of the colors that are needed for this wheel. Um, with this section right here, it's the violet section, so I took a red and a blue crayon and I'm mixing those together. I'm trying to get the wax to mix to give me the violet color that I'm, I'm looking for. You can see it's going to look quite a bit different than the paint, but that's alright. Um, so basically what I did on this with the crayon, I colored it in first with one of the colors. I'm using red right here right now. This is my complement of yellow, so I do need violet here. I'm laying it on there, not super thick, because this is just my my first try at it. But I need enough so that when I take the blue down, like I am now, that it'll pick up some of the red and hopefully they mix together to create the violet that I'm looking for. These are crayons, just normal Crayola type crayons. And I would say that this is mm, semi-successful. It doesn't give you a super nice violet, but you can tell that it's not red and it's not blue. I'm just continuing to mix these over each other until I get kind of close to the the violet color that I'm looking for, or the purple. I'm adding pressure each time I do this to try and get a little more of mixing of the wax from these crayons together. So, not perfect. But it did give kind of the idea of the violet there. So that's crayons, mixing colors with crayons to make your colors. The other ones that I've been mixing are, are paint. Paints are super easy. Um, I could show you how to do uh, the tint and shade of violet here. So I'm going to make some violet up first. So I'll need my blue and my red to do that. We'll pour a little red down here. This is dry in this area, so that'll work. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush. And I'm going to take some of my blue that's here in the middle. Blue's pretty dark, so you want to go easy with mixing the blue into the red. I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. And that is making it more of a maroon right now. As I add more blue, it'll hopefully change more violet. Take a little bit of my water and mix it in with my blue to try and loosen it up. It's dry. There we go. I think I'm going to add a little bit more blue to that. And I think that's about what I want from my violet. Okay. 
Now that I have my violet, I'm going to go ahead and paint it in here. So my normal violet is there. This is going to be my violet tint. So I'm going to take my violet right here and I'm going to move a little bit back here behind the green. I'm going to wash off my brush quickly. Wipe it off with a paper towel just to make sure I get all the paint off. I'm going to take some of my white. My paint is really drying fast today. And I'm going to mix that in. You can really kind of see the purple or violet shade there, or tint, I should say. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to outline my tint area with my violet tint of paint. And once I get it outlined, I'm just going to fill it in. And you can see how nicely paint works. If you've got paint, I would highly recommend it. It's a good way to go. Gives you a nice finish. Next, I'm going to take some more of that violet paint that I mixed up right here and I'm going to put it aside right here at this spot if you can see that I'm mixing it right there I'm just setting it kind of aside wash my brush again I get a little bit of my black paint quite a bit of black paint. I don't want quite that much. Take my black paint, just going to get a, a little bit on the tip of my brush, mix it in with my violet. Hopefully I didn't get too much there. And this is going to be, it's hard to see, my violet shade. And that's going to go right in my eyeball area, right in here. So, outline. And on the camera it might look black, but that actually is a very dark violet purple color. So those are tints and shades using paints and crayons of about seven minutes in so I think I got a little more time I'm going to go ahead and try and squeeze in the uh, colored pencils see how those mix I'm going to go ahead and go with the uh, orange uh, and the orange area is right here. I'm going to go ahead and mix up my orange tint and my orange shade. Now with the colored pencils I do have a premixed orange so I'm actually going to just go with that. Um, my orange tint is right up in here in this area where I'm pointing with my pencil. So I'm going to color that in with my colored pencil. I've done a little bit of blending with colored pencils. They don't blend quite as well as like a graphite pencil would. And it really does depend on what type of pencils you have. Prismacolor makes a pretty nice colored pencil. And they seem to blend a little better. There are even some companies out there that make a watercolor colored pencil that once you color it on, you can use water on it to make it like paint. So those are pretty cool. Alright, so my orange is down. I'm going to take my white and go over that and see if I can change it to more of a tint. And it is lightening it, so that works fairly well. So I'm just mixing the white colored pencil with the orange colored pencil to get my tint of my color. I'm running low on time 
So that's how you use colored pencils. That's the end of today's lesson. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you next time.